Hey everyone, welcome back to IT Samurai Teacher. I'm Shehab Dool and today we are diving into the world of home automation by installing Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi 5. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon for more tech tutorials and reviews. First thing first, what is Home Assistant? Home Assistant is an open source platform that allows you to control all your smart home devices from a single interface. Whether it's lights, thermostat or security cameras, Home Assistant integrates them all seamlessly. You can create automations that make your home smart and more efficient. You'll need a Raspberry Pi 5, a micro SD card, a power supply, an Ethernet cable. If you don't have a Raspberry Pi 5, you can use Raspberry Pi 4. Now, if you don't have Ethernet cable, it's okay, you can use Wi Fi. Okay, first of all, let's go and download and install the Raspberry Pi Imager. Go to a web browser, type www.raspberrypi.com. This is the official website. And if you stay in the website, go all the way down and you will see Raspberry Pi Imager. Click that. And after that, you can download for your version. I'm going to use Windows. I'm going to download for Windows. Just in case if you have Mac, you can download for Mac and for Linux. And they have show you how to install the image. Now I'm going to open. Click yes. Welcome to Raspberry Pi image. I'm click install. If you want to see the details, you can see uh, all these files. And you will see everything going to install. Now Raspberry, uh, run the Raspberry Pi image. Okay, I opened my Raspberry Pi image after installation. Now in here if you don't if you don't select the no filtering i'm going to show you something quickly so if you go to specific purpose os and this is home assistant uh, home assistance and home automation under that home assistant you can see the os they already have for raspberry pi 5 and Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 3. So they don't have for Raspberry Pi 2. And they have Home Assistant for Yellow Kit. So this is support only for Raspberry Pi 4. And we're not going to use any of this. And uh, we're going to use only the Raspberry Pi 5. So for that, first I'm going to filter for Raspberry Pi 5. If you want, you can choose Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 3. So choose the Raspberry Pi 5 and the under operating system go to the other specific purpose OS under that you can see home assistant and home automation click that under that operating system home assistant this is the home assistant OS operating system we're going to install to our SD card and click that and there's only one option because we choose the device under device Raspberry Pi 5 so this is only give the Raspberry Pi 5 so choose that now under storage I'm going to use my SD card or if you have NVM card you can choose now in here we choose everything make sure the this is format and click next now I say all existing data on mass storage device USB device will be erased are you sure to continue make sure you don't have any important files try to make sure otherwise you will lose it click yes now you can see it's going to install this is going to be very fast once it's done I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put my Raspberry Pi 5 and I'm going to boot it up booting up and it says waiting for the home assistant CLI to be ready uh, it's going to be fail it's going to fail because I didn't connect the Ethernet cable to my Raspberry Pi 5 right so I'm not getting an internet connection to the Raspberry Pi 5 the message I'm getting it says waiting for the home assistant CLI to be ready and warning home assistant CLI not starting up jump into em uh, emergency console now how are you going to troubleshoot this how are you going to start your home assistant because it's not connecting to the internet we are getting waiting for the home assistant CLI to be ready 
warning home assistant seal and not starting jump into emergency console this is the error message the warning message you will see if you didn't connect the ethernet cable to your raspberry pi now sometimes after you connect to the ethernet cable you still get this error message uh, probably you type login so sometimes this error message will go away because it's already connected to the uh, internet but just in case, like me, I didn't have an Ethernet cable and my Wi-Fi, I didn't connect to the Wi-Fi, my Raspberry Pi with the Home Assistant. So we are getting this message. Now what we need to do, we need to connect to our Wi-Fi connection. We normally type in MCLI and see if we connect to do any connection you can see wlan 0 is my wi-fi connection and it says disconnected so it's not connecting i'm going to clear this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect to my wi-fi for that we need to scan our wi-fi networks you're going to type nmcli device wi-fi list now I'm going to scan my entire Wi-Fi. So we found, okay, it's scanning and we found my, uh, the Wi-Fi connection in here. So we have a bunch of uh, Wi-Fi connection. Uh, so I'm going to connect to IT Samurai Teacher, my SSID. So make sure you know the password, the key to connect to your Wi-Fi connection. Now I'm going to type in MCLI device Wi-Fi connect and the SSID is IT Samurai teacher. Teacher and password. Now I'm going to type password and I'm going to type the pa my password. I'm going to do that. Okay. So, uh, my SSID and I put the password. You can see device WLAN 0, that's when Wi Fi adapter successfully activated with uh, this bunch of uh, uh, code. So, now I'm going to type before, uh, yeah, we're going to type type login. See, it's easy. So you able to connect to your home assistant Wi-Fi connection. You can see we got a IP address 192.168658/24. So the Wi-Fi and the home assistant URL 8123. So everything looks great. Okay, we jump into a web browser. Uh, any if you have any web browser, even the phone you can connect. Uh, but before we connect the app, uh, phone app, I'm going to log into the uh, home assistant and do the, the main configuration part. Now we know it's home assistant, so we type http slash slash home assistant and we're going to semicolon and we're going to type 8123. Now you can see. Uh, we type home assistant 8123 uh, it's preparing home assistant just in case if you not able to uh, get the dns name home assistant you can type the ip address semicolon 8123 now you can see preparing home assistant this may take up to 20 minutes i'm not sure why 20 minutes <laughs> so you can see it's already installed for the cli blah 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 blah. everything looks good uh so far so good just in case if you get any error messages right red and something that just reboot your raspberry pi device okay and try to uh, restart the machine and try to connect just in case uh you always type in the cmd command and ping and see if it's pingable if it's ping that means uh it's booted up so let's wait till this come up up to 20 minutes and, and jump in you know what it's already <laughs> already came 
so what we need to do, it says, welcome. Are you ready to be awake in your home? Reclaim your privacy. Join our worldwide community of thinkers. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you this backup later. Okay. If you click this, you can see there are no backup. Uh, you can upload the backup and stuff. So i uh, not going to do that. We're going to back again because we didn't create our home. Um, create my smart home. Now it will ask you create a user. I'm going to type IT Samurai. You know what? I'm going to type IT Samurai Teacher. I'm going to type a password. Go type password here too and create account uh, I'm located on Seattle so I'm going to use the Seattle home location click next uh, help us help you share anonymized information from your installation so I'm going to keep this default. I'm not going to share anything. I'm just click next. But if you want, you can share. So we, it says we found compatible devices. So if you connect to the same network, all this stuff, it will uh, show you. You can see uh, just I log in, everything was, I can see my all my devices in here. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's talk about the dashboard. So this is the home assistant dashboard, your central hub for managing all your smart home devices and automations. Let's start by looking at the main menu on the left side of the screen. The first icon uh, at the top of the overview tab this is the overview tab. So this is your primary dashboard where you can see a summary of your smart home devices and their current status. You can cut, uh, customize this view to show the most important information at a glance. The next, we have a map tab. This feature is great if you are location based on automation or GPS trackers. It shows the real time location of your devices on a map. And we have an energy tab. That's a bunch of stuff. So you can uh, put all your energy information stuff. And after that, we have a log book. So, so this log book keeps a detailed history of events and changes within your home assistant setup. It's a useful for troubleshooting and understanding what's happening in your smart home. Moving on to the history tab, this section displays the graphs and data about your device over time, such as temperature, trends or energy usage. Once you put all your stuff here. Oh, uh, we can see the media, you can media source, you can to-do list and I want to show you uh, the developer tools that are very powerful, this one. So this is a powerful section for advanced users. You can test your automations, check the state of uh, devices, even execute command directly. Very powerful. So you can see under developer, uh, developer tools, you will find the states tab where you can see the current state of all your entities the uh, the services depths uh, lets you call the different services to control your device manually and after that the templates tab is creating and testing a ginger 2 templates which can be used for automation and script wow very powerful um, so in here you can see all these configuration tabs uh, so if you go devices and services, this section where you can manage your smart home device in integration. And we can see all this automation section where you can create manage automation to make your home smarter. You can set uh, triggers, conditions and action to automate your 
devices. You also can do like script section similar to automation but allows more complex sequences of actions. Script can by triggered manually or the automation. Uh, so, you know, all these uh, themes, if you go back again, uh, again, the settings, you can configure general options such as themes, local, localization and updates. You can do a bunch of information. Okay, guys, so that's a quick tour of home uh, assistant dashboard and its options. With this knowledge, you can start customizing your setup with your Raspberry Pi 5 and create a powerful auto automation to make your life easier. Even once you uh, do this, all this configuration, you can install the Home Assistant app to your phone and connect to your server. So this is your server, right? Raspberry Pi, your server. So put this uh, server address to your phone after you install the application app, then you can uh, remotely do all these configurations, like do your home assistance step. So that's all, uh, folks. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to IT Samurai Teacher for more tech tutorials. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.